This can be extremely detrimental and can make or break your effectiveness. Welcome! Whether you're a leader today or you're aspiring to be one, this video will be valuable to you, your team and your manager. If you're not a leader yet but aspiring to be one, the sooner you start acting like one, the sooner you will be considered for a leadership role. Being a leader is a lifelong quest and you will always have to improve and develop. Still, you will never fully master it. And understanding that upfront will probably make the journey much easier. I chose six skills today that I feel every good leader excels at. These qualities will always be relevant, but I'll teach you a good approach to each one of them that's helped me through my career. So if you are aspiring to become a leader or a better leader, Stay until the end of the video. So let's dive straight into it. Good leaders lead themselves before they lead others. This is basic, but what does it actually mean? For you to be able to lead others and to set an example, you need to understand how to lead yourself first. First of all, you need to set an example by doing. You do that in a good way by learning more about yourself and being better today than you were yesterday. Then you should act as you wish others would. Constantly exercise your mind and your body. Read books, take classes, travel to seek new perspectives and new knowledge. Also exercise your body regularly to stay healthy, centered and focused. You'll also notice that physical exercise helps with confidence and perception. And before you learn to lead yourself and be comfortable about it, you can never inspire others to follow you. Good leaders constantly seek feedback. Every single one of us has blind spots. Being aware of them is really important to your growth. This is why you should always, always seek feedback and be comfortable receiving it. One good question I always ask all the people around me is, if you were me, what would you do differently? This takes some of the tension out of both asking the question and giving the feedback. Good leaders listen. You need to listen with the intent to understand, not to reply. This requires you to be fully, fully focused. When you reply, you do it with open, exploratory questions. Acknowledge what's being said, never interrupt, and always be in the moment. This will not only help people feel heard and build trust, it will also help you as a leader take the best decisions for your team. Good leaders are the calm presence. Whenever a storm hits, your team needs an ever calm presence to turn to. Staying calm is an essential skill for all leaders, but it's not always easy to do. And remember that this includes all forms of communication not only verbal, also written. As a leader, you can never use emotional language. One of the best ways to stay calm is to always put things in perspective. A big problem today is likely not going to be a problem in a month or in a quarter or in a year. And before you go into an important or potentially hostile meeting, you can look at pictures of your kids or your pet to raise the oxytocin levels. This will help you relax and stay calm. And at any point when you feel emotions coming on, take a deep breath and relax. Practice makes perfect. So the more you expose yourself to these kind of situations and take them as a learning experience, the faster you will get more comfortable. This will of course also help you improve your confidence, which will elevate you as a leader even more. Good leaders also have a vision. A lot of new leaders are so overwhelmed or in the details that they completely miss doing this. This can be extremely detrimental and can make or break your effectiveness. You need to carefully craft a vision that you can clearly communicate to your team. This will help engage and inspire and have your team understand what you're working towards. Then you involve your team or parts of your team to create a strategy to reach that vision. Good leaders have high EQ. The how is as important as the what. Having the capabilities of identifying, evaluating, managing and understanding our own emotions and the people around us is one of the most highly rated qualities of future leaders. 
Good leaders are self-aware, confident, and take calculated decisions. They have good social skills and the ability to build healthy relationships. Like with any other skill, some people naturally have a higher EQ. With practice, it can absolutely be learned and perfected though. Empathy and truly caring for your team are both key to becoming a respected leader. If you improve all of these qualities, it will up your influence. And we know that influence is what leadership is all about. And again, the six core skills that you should learn and perfect are good leaders lead themselves before they lead others. Good leaders constantly seek feedback. Good leaders listen. Good leaders are the calm presence. Good leaders have a vision. And finally, good leaders have a high EQ. Please comment below if you think I missed something or if you want me to clarify something. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all again next week.